light illuminates the world we now call home. It also hides its true image a thousand miles from us. Light is conceptually defined as colorless, but anyone who has dabbled in physics know that it's just not simply so. So what is light? Today, take the time machine back into the 17th century, where we reinvent the pivotal experiment with the miraculous modern technology. From page 150, 155 of Newton's Book of Optics, Newton elaborated on how the color wheel works. By the concourse and mixtures of all sorts of rays, a white color is produced. The white is a mixture of all the colors which the rays would have apart. The basic principle of our experiment is simple. Due to the duration of vision, if we spin the color wheel fast enough, we can get all colors on the wheel to be captured by our eye in that maybe 1 24th of a second, which will make our brain process the colors as the, the combination of all the colors, which we will see the colors as the white color. But the team felt something was still not quite right, and so they dug further. Later scientists conclude that Newton named the colors differently from current usage, which is pretty different from our first version of Newton's color wheel. So we are going to make another color wheel. <laughs> The team ultimately found a good deal of success in recreating Newton's color wheel. Though it was probably never more than a thought experiment for Newton, the team managed to create a promising modern version. While interpreting the exact color variations and proportions that Newton intended isn't a simple task, the team demonstrated that with further tweaking, later research groups could likely get the pure white envisioned by Newton and further our understanding of Newton's optics. The invention of the color wheel has historical significance given that it is a reflection of the intrinsic property of light to break up into colors. Um, historically, it has actually been a source of fundamental debates. He discovered the nature of light by refracting light through prisms and lenses. Before Newton, traditional science focused on the geometric discussions of light. For example, they analyzed the reflection of light as it passed through mirrors and the exploration of light as it bent through different medium. Instead, Newton's work focused on the nature of light and color, and focused on the phenomena of diffraction which to that day had, had not been fully explored. He called the nature of diffraction inflections of light. The major significance of Isaac Newton's discovery was that it overturned previous Aristotelian thinking, which was centered around the belief that pure light was fundamentally white and colorless, and it became altered when it was mixed with darkness, which were, which were caused by interactions with matter. Realizing that previous scientific theory was wrong, Newton performed a series of experiments in the late 1660s before the publication of optics. Therefore, he began our modern understanding of how light and color operate. It was Newton's work on white light and the discovery of the visible spectrum of light that led to the creation of the color wheel. Therefore, um, Newton applied the principles that he just learned with white light and uh, incorporated them into the color wheel which were basically the colors of the visible spectrum of light um, on a color wheel. Um, quantitatively, he, he said that the color wheel could predict color mixtures, and qualitatively, he described that the color wheel could be used to describe color similarities. This color system, um, or the color wheel, would later become a model, a model for other color systems to follow in the 18th and 19th centuries, and it is still used to this day to help designers create palettes for their job.